Okay, we're having a look at eye bolts and eye nuts today, um, the type of things that are on the market in the UK currently and what you should be expecting to get for lifting quality eye bolts. We uh, Techni sell uh, an Italian brand of eye bolts and eye nuts. Uh, they're made to the DIN 580 and DIN 582 standards and uh, we spent a lot of time researching the market to find the right quality and the right manufacturer to ensure that they met the correct standards and the correct paperwork is supplied with the product. This is an example of a DIN 582 eye nut from this manufacturer. Uh, it's CE marked. It has a little arrow at the top that is in line with the standard. It has the size here, M20 for this particular one. And on the back it has the material grade, C15E. Uh, this particular one's a zinc plated one. We also do them in stainless steel, 316 grade. And this is the equivalent eye bolt, M16. Again, CE marked, arrow at the top, working load limit in kilos, 700 kilos marked on there. The maker's mark there, again material grade on the back. Both these products come with a safe use data sheet. So here's the full data sheet that comes with them with all the standard, all the angles and the instructions for use translated into pretty much every language. And also the most important bit of all, they come with an EC declaration. Uh, so this is the manufacturer's inspection certificate. So it shows the standard they're made to, uh, it shows the maker's mark, the material composition of the actual eye bolt or eye nut uh, with all the chemical breakdown of material. Again, all the angles of test, it's signed off by the company and there's a CE declaration there. Now, we've got a couple of examples here that we found on the market. Now this one is an M24 eye nut. It's got no arrow at the top, which is not in line with the standard. The uh, working load limit has got a capital T for the tunnies, which is not correct. The material grade on the back says C15, uh, doesn't say C15E, which is, is what it should be. Now this actually came with no paperwork whatsoever. There's no manufacturer's mark on it or anything. It's a cheaper product, but to actually use this for lifting uh, would be a real mistake uh, because if anything went wrong, there's nothing to go back to. And there, there's, there's no one backing this product up. So just make sure if you're going to buy these products that you get all the correct paperwork with them and you get the correct declarations.